but it all has consequences and and I think we're well we are starting to see the consequences of um, and, and my concern with the with the, the way the, the Federal Reserve is making decisions is that they they're just operating with um, too much latency. So the Federal Reserve was was slow to raise interest rates, and and, and now I think they're uh, slow to they're, they're going to be slow to lower them. A lot of talk in the real estate industry right now that is suggesting that rent prices are on the way down. My name is Jim Fong. I'm an investor and a real estate agent here in Las Vegas. And today I'm going to kind of share with you things that I've been researching here, why there's a lot of indicators that are suggesting that rent prices are on the way down in our market. Number one, I'm going to just jump right into the numbers here. A median rent price right now in Las Vegas is $2,095. All right. If you look at the previous month, it was actually a little higher. It was 2,100 even. All right. So we saw a decline of $5. It's not a lot. All right. But if I go a little deeper and I go to last year, 2023, this is the month where prices started going down last year too. All right. So last year at this time, the median rental price here was $2,060. By the time it got to December of 2023, prices were down to $1,955. So this year, I'm kind of seeing that as well too. And a lot of people are saying, why aren't a lot of people moving to Vegas? Don't you have a high demand for housing and all this stuff like that? And yes, this is all true. However, in my opinion, I think they overbuilt the multifamilies here, all right? In the last few years, starting from the pandemic, if you drive around town, around the 215 or anything like that, all you see are these apartment buildings going up everywhere. They're, they're all over the place right now. And the rents for these places are crazy. You know, you go in there, a two bedroom's $2,000. A three bedroom is like $2,500 to $3,000, so depending how new, how nice the amenities are. Which is great though, you know, because a lot of people are moving to Vegas, right? That's true. But it doesn't mean they're going to just come here and buy a house right away. A lot of people are like, hey, let me feel it out. Let me see if I like it before I actually, you know, put roots down or anything like that, right? So they're renting and they like the amenities, all right? And a lot of people are coming from California. So these rent prices are not scary to them. You know, two bedroom, 2000, oh, it works. That, that's about what it is, right? So maybe that's what's driving that. But since they overbuilt this right now, our property management company, I mean, we're seeing days on market a little longer now, all right? We're seeing us needing to drop down the rent prices a little bit right now. We're seeing tenants being a little pickier, you know, before a house was a house. Now they're kind of like, oh, we want something more upgraded now too and apartments offers that to them, right? Because if you get a brand new apartment building, everything's nice and new in there, right? They're taking a lot of the rental demand there too. So what does that mean for investors like you and me? And what does that mean for renters, all right? So right now, I think it's a little more challenging if you're a landlord right now, you know? I mean, for my own properties and for uh, clients' properties that we manage, I mean, you're, you're seeing homes sit on the market a little longer than before, and we're needing to drop the rent prices as well, too. It's hard to compete with those apartment buildings right now because a lot of them are offering these specials or these incentives, all right? A real common one that I'm seeing right now with apartments are one free month's rent when you move in, right? Well, that's great, right? If I was renting, I'd get my attention, right? But I want you to kind of think about this a little more. Let's just say you're paying $2,000 rent a month right now, okay? That's $24,000 for 12 months, right? We knock off, you know, one month's free rent. That's $2,000. But what you really kind of did, it was just knocked off almost $200 a month on the rent if you do it this way, right? So it's a sign that rents are dropping, but they're not really showing it because the lease is still showing the higher rent that they're paying, even though they gave away one month's free rent on that, right? So, you know, if you get one free month's rent right now, that's approximately 8.35% decrease from your rental rate. So I know we talked about earlier, you know, we went down only $5 this month, but when you go into these apartments or whatever these incentives are, when you're getting like a free month's rent, that's about an 8% decline in rents. That's where we're seeing the actual trend. I mean, it's a good strategy to have, right? If you can get someone locked in for a higher rent and you just have to give them a month's rent, that's kind of similar to having one month vacancy anyways, right? But this way, 
have someone in the property so it's not vacant, they're paying the utilities, and then you kind of got them locked in for at least 11 months. It's not a bad strategy. I've talked to some of our landlords about those strategies as well too, and they're not opposed to it as well. Maybe something more like two weeks free rent or something like that, but we're finding a need to incentivize renters to rent the property, okay? That, that's just the bottom line right there. So as an investor, what should you do, right? Well, I, I think you should think about the big picture and long term, I always believe in looking at the long term, right? So let's say you have a property that you've had for many, many years and you haven't done any improvements on it for a really long time, right? Well, maybe this might be a time for you to invest back into the property, right? So like, I mean, I have had homes that I've owned for a really long time, 10 plus years. I haven't really given it any type of update, right? Well, now is the time when this tenant moves out rather than trying to get somebody at low rent on a kind of older looking house. You know, I, I've taken the time to kind of update a lot of these, all right? Because I, if I put new flooring in and new appliances, it looks nice. I'm gonna attract a tenant that can pay higher rent. So that's a possibility right there too, but that's my long-term thinking on this, right? If I make it nice now and collect higher rent and make it more rentable, that's gonna be a good strategy for me to go forward on that, right? Another thing to think about too is a lot of people are doing furnished rentals these days, all right? In the Las Vegas market, I think the furnished rentals are a byproduct of licensing laws and regulations on short-term rentals like Airbnbs. So a lot of people had these Airbnbs that didn't get a license, they got shut down or whatever. Now they have a house that's furnished. So now we're seeing a bunch of furnished rentals on the market too, which is not a bad thing because on furnished rentals, you're seeing a 15 to 25% higher rent you can collect by furnishing it, right? But it comes with risks as well too, all right? like. If you have nice furniture and nice things, I don't know if you want to put it in as a furnished rental, but you know, each situation on its own. Another thing you can think about too is, you know, people are doing roommates. You can always do it kind of a by the room thing, but that might be a little less passive and you might be a little more active in these investments. If you're a landlord here or anywhere and you're running into these similar problems, you know, what are you doing out there? I'd love to hear from you. Drop me a comment below. This, this is kind of how investors learn, right? You talk to other investors. So in conclusion, it's really important for you to study your local market and what you want to do there. Or you can subscribe to an expert like this guy on YouTube that does the studying for you. I'm Jim Fong. I've been buying and selling homes in Las Vegas for over 20 years now. You know, I love helping other investors build their portfolio and things like that. Be sure to check out the channel. It's got great information on there. One way that people are doing to make money in real estate right now is flipping houses. So be sure to check out over here. Here's the full journey of my recent flip that I just did or check out this video. This is a step-by-step -step on how to flip a house. I can subscribe it and I will see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.